Hi, Egan. Hi. Um, given the recent run of results at home, obviously losing the record and Brighton and Man City, um, Everton obviously come to Anfield, having not won since September 1999. Um, do you view this as a, as a massive opportunity or, or would you rather not be playing the local rivals so soon? So soon? <laughs> uh, no, no. After losing three in a row. <laughs> ah, no, I, I I never thought about these kind of things. So no, it's the right moment. It's the right moment to to play Everton. That's how it is. Um, we will be ready. There we go. Okay, Don King, and then we go to Chris. Bassett. Yeah, again, one, one of the, the um, key strengths of, the, of your team has been its discipline, um, staying focused. Tomorrow's got the the potential to be quite an emotional game. So how do the players keep the, keep that in, in in these circumstances? We play we play the, the the way we play. It's very emotional, but we always are emotional. To be honest, that's that's our way to play. What the other team is doing, I don't know. I have no influence um, on that, so nothing to say about that. So um, I can imagine that after the first game that uh, you try to create some stories about that, but uh, around that. But I'm I will not be in that. We are be prepared for a football game, for a derby, like we always did. Like I think it's, nobody can. Um, Say about this team that they were not ready for derbies from an attitude point of view, from a from an understanding point of view. How important it is this team always was and we will be tomorrow. Um, but this, how I said the stories around and and all these kind of things, I have nothing to say. Okay, thanks, Tom. We'll go to Chris. Chris Baskin. And, and just slightly different topic, actually. Just. Um, the international break coming up could be a bit of an issue with the ten day quarantine. I just wonder if you had any any more details about. Do you have any concerns about the logistics of that? Because it just seems a bit crazy. <laughs> yes, I have concerns, but not more information, if that makes sense. So um, now we are obviously internally in constant talks and try to talk to the um, specific organisations how it is. So, but I, I, I know in this moment I cannot tell you exactly how it will be. Um, and how the no how, how we will sort that because um, it's clear that if a player goes away and has to come back and has to get quarantine for ten days, that's obviously um, difficult to accept. Um, uh, that's why we. But in this moment, I don't know, probably don't know more than you. Okay, uh, Kevin from the, I think from the eye paper now, and then Dave to finish with Kevin. Jürgen, in, in, it was one of the great achievements, I think, um, in recent times, uh, to, not only to win the title for the first time in 30 years, but to eclipse arguably the finest team that English football has seen. Now we see City galloping on again, I think 16 points clear of Liverpool. What do Liverpool have to do to challenge them again? Oh, we don't have to think about that now. We don't play them this year anymore, and um, and uh, maybe probably not. Maybe in the Champions League, um, and and yeah, for next year we have then we have a little bit of time. But actually, it's not. It was never. It was never the the, the case that we thought. How can we? What is the right saying? How can we overtake or whatever city, but however we would say that? How can we become the finest team again in English football, whatever that means? Uh, we never saw it like this. We wanted the best, the best version of ourselves, uh, and yeah, and we, we we have that chance again. And if that's then good enough, then it's good enough. And if not, if another team is better, then they are better. That's how sports works. Uh, you cannot do more than being the best version of yourself, and um, that's what we really will try again. Um, as a team especially um, and for that we need just a little bit more luck and then of course um, uh, yeah a few other things as well but in the beginning it would it start with getting slightly more luck uh, with injuries that would help already and then uh, we can become closer to that I think we all agree even I would say that um, probably even Pep would say that um, in a normal season for both teams we would not be 16 points away um, but we are in fact, that's how it is, and um, we accept that. But this season is not our concern. How close can we come to City? Um, our concern is um, how far can we go in the table, and um, that's enough work to do. Fantastic. Final question, Dave Maddock from the Mirror. Uh, Jürgen, um, 
when when you ran on the pitch in, in, in the derby when you scored at the end, that's kind of one of the iconic moments of 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 um, for Liverpool and for you. I was just wondering what whether you 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 can't see it like that, but all what, what is therefore what is your favourite derby moment? And also, I just wanted to ask about how it will how it feels um, playing without fans because we saw in the, the first game this season that there's still an intensity and a passion sometimes spilling over so I just wondered uh, you know around that uh, and your favourite moments in the derby I had a lot of favourite moments in derby I don't want to mention them all now um, but I had a lot um, Sadio involved Dibok involved yeah Curtis involved these kind of things so there were a few um, yes and of course the, the, the derby is the derby with or without supporters but um, with supporters it's just much more enjoyable for us as well so um, we all love when, when, when football becomes the most important thing for a few moments and in derbies that's always the case so this intensity I really like um, and that the game is <coughs> still intense or emotional however you want to describe that yeah that's normal it's football other games were uh, very emotional and intense as well and why should Liverpool versus Everton be different so no um, with supporters each other, everything is better absolutely everything is better with supporters even the derby